so if much. If people aren't watching the WNBA, <laughs> dog, start tuning in. I don't know if they start investing smoke. in eyelash extensions, <laughs> but these big bitches are the finest women I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. I'll do the whole bit. My favorite <laughs> one, right? Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. Uh, we're rolling, right? Oh, yeah. We're rolling. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. oh my bad. I didn't know either. <laughs> um, the... Does it? Does that mean it got repoed? What's a deck collection? No, they don't come. So what happened? <laughs> I have wait, a lot wait. of. I've actually been. In deck I have a lot of things. Wait, 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 deck collection. Deck collection. <laughs> I've I've had a gym membership in deck collection. Yeah, that's a oh, big that's one. That's yeah. a big one. Yeah. So if you go real big, like my, this was like I was this was back in Dell's. Like this was my Dell looked like a fucking stormtrooper. Yeah. Like, this shit was bipping. Yeah. It had red all, like red accents and everything. <laughs> If what year is this? <laughs> you got This is like 2010, 20. It was a gaming laptop. <laughs> like I was like, don't worry about the mics. It's all about the computer. <laughs> Little did I know, Zoom recorder could have done everything. Yep. So if you get an expensive thing and you let it go, like if you're young enough, this will go out to the young people in like barstool fucking Durham. Um, <laughs> you can get something expensive, and after 10 years, you don't. It, it goes away. Just poof. So, so like just hold out. When hold those, out. When Don't do it. Wait, 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 when wait, those wait. debt collectors call you up. So, so Don't explain, do it. Explain so, a little further. So you, you, you buy something. You Facts. owe that company. That company hits you up maybe a couple times. Oh, they hit you more than a couple times. <laughs> but they hit me up a lot. They, eventually, they send it to a debt collecting agency, which is like their entire yeah, job right, right, is right. to call. And then once it's gotten to that, just dig your fucking just heels in. Just dig your heels in there. Because they, they'll call and be like, are you ready to pay that? And then you just go, nope, no, I'm not and ready And it'll be a right different now. guy, too. It'll be yeah. a guy you never heard they of. like, hey, it's, you now owe me. I'm <laughs> like, dog, I don't owe nobody. I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't paying shit. Bro, so I, I, I did say, exactly. And I, I feel like if I ever were to like... I mean, I'm sure that kills your credit or whatever. It does, right? but if you do it in your early 20s, you're good. that's my vibe. You're good. There's two things I always say to young people. Fuck up your credit as much as you can, <laughs> and if you want to do drugs, do a different drug every day so you don't get addicted, or every week. <laughs> Smart. Smart, you Smart. know what I mean? Because then you only did cocaine 12 times last year. <laughs> and that's pretty good. You know what I mean, that's like a straight-laced dude. And then you'll be fine. <laughs> dude, I, I had my debt collection was it was a gym membership but it was dude it was like i must have been on year nine of it because it happened no yeah like how, what, what was your gym what were you i think equinox it was, it was when i fucking probably it was, it was when i first lived in new york i lived in new york when i was 21 and had fucking no money literally yeah. zero dollars and uh so I, it was then and then when i was moving back to new york the second time more than trying to get my apartment they're like you have really bad credit i was like what are you talking about i've never even i don't even have, have credit I don't even have a credit yeah. card yeah. yeah and then they're like you have this thing in collections and i like it was like fifty dollars yeah, I love yeah, it was yeah, Planet yeah, Fitness. Was like, like they're coming after you up like, to okay, five fifty a month. Up, like, and I, I was like, I was panicking. I was like, fuck me. I got like, I was like putting off the phone call because they were like, here's who has your debt. Yeah, you want to call in and resolve it. And I was like, I bet they've been charging me every month for yeah. decades. Years. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, this is gonna suck. And they're like, you owe us fifty six dollars. I was like, well, why don't you say something? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we did. We sent you mail. <laughs> fucking <laughs> four. That's, I'm not opening yeah. mail though. I'm not opening yeah, mail, dog. What are you doing? When they tell me we've mailed you before, I'm like. An envelope? Yeah. yeah. With yeah. paper? Yeah. And you think I read that? You, you, you and the penny this? saver. People have been mailing me for a long time <laughs> yeah. and looked at nothing. You got a better I, chance opening the window and yelling it out. Maybe I'll hear it. <laughs> Thank you so I, much. I will open up the fucking mailbox. I will grab the paper and I'll go like this. And I'll chuck it, yeah. Put it in the well, I look for... In yeah, LA, oh, cheers, nice brothers. Nice yeah. and warm. Yeah, I had. Fuck, <laughs> you, you had to work. Uh, you got a cold one? All right. Oh, well, mine was well, cold. Uh, yeah. Well, I was like, I don't know why you guys complaining. Fine. Treating Jackie so, man. Why you just warm and some weird shit? Thanks, Jack. It's a funky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is that. You nailed it. you the right person, guys. Is this like a bar stool beer? Yeah. I feel it like is. you guys. It is. I that's why I don't know why she poured it into a, into a glass. Oh, and this is awesome. It was just. This tastes great. It was memorial. They took it off a shelf with like a trophy. Yeah. It was. I definitely watched it. Dusted it off. It's a big deal brewing. <laughs> um, but yeah, they will also um, uh, don't ever pay medical bills ever. No, no. those shits, those don't even go to I, those don't even hit your credit. Yeah, you can't even touch. So you. like, I I remember. <laughs> Yo, I, let's I make had, this a straight up financial. I got a lot of scams, episode. America. I've been scamming <laughs> people my whole life. Let's do schemes and scams yeah. episode. Oh, I got one right here. This yeah. is my this is my scheme and scam. If you're trying to date somebody, okay. See, I didn't know that this is actually called courting a woman. <laughs> I wooing, if you will. Wooing. I thought I was scamming the love of my life. And well, this is... Ultimately... It's the same thing, It's the same right? thing. I'm trying to trick I'm you. I'm trying to get and it. And to fuck you. To as, fuck long, as long as I'm tricking you to stay with me... Yeah. Then it's okay. Then it's kosher. Yeah. 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 So, yeah I've actually gaslit every woman I've been with. Yeah. It's just been a positive It's just gaslight. called, like, getting in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. So this is my move right here, right? First date. It's such a fun question, too, right? 
do people know that she's here? <laughs> I don't know. There's a girl here. No, no, no. We're, we're human trafficking her. Well, I don't her know. Family doesn't know. I talked yeah, to the whatever person. Yes, yeah, she's here. So what you do is the first date, right? You're always trying to come up with little questions. What you do is you ask them, "What's your Taco Bell order?" Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Then you one. write down the Taco Bell order. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, if it's a girl, you know, it could be like black bean chalupa, some weird, some funky weird shit that you never thought shit, of. Yeah. First day, she got a bad day. Postmates that thing yeah. to her. Really? That's a, it's about a $12 investment. <laughs> and if you get someone's Taco Bell order right, that person they will love you, you for the rest of their life. <laughs> they will love you. That's my first scam. You know, I did that with my... I never did anything with it. But, but like, that's like, funny. Like, some would call that romance. Exactly. You call that scam. I just had such <laughs> a weird <laughs> drug dealer vibe when I was a kid. I was like, I'm going to scam this girl to like me. I'm going to scam this dude to be my friend. Yo, I got a good scam running right now. I'm just nice to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> idiots. These people are fucking idiots. <laughs> it reminds me of the Sunny episode when they're, they're cooking up the scam and Dennis is like, let's run the scam. And he's like talking about, he's just trying to get them to just work. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Job is and they're thing. like, ooh, a cash for boo scam. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about scams. Small scams will get you through life. Yeah, man. They, like, mm. Also, um, I'm a like, I'm in the middle of a not paying any of my parking tickets scam. Oh, that <laughs> one's rough. That's, <laughs> that's not really a good one to engage not in. For no. heart, that's, that's not for the faint of heart. I've done that scam. That's no. scam doesn't go Bro, back I've been that scam for three, four years, <laughs> dude. Had to go pick up my car getting towed that's once a month. Thing. You will get <laughs> fucked by it. You ever got the uh, red, what's the what's one during the day? The uh, no compact one? Oh, fuck. It's like when it's, when it's traffic and you're parked in a red zone? <laughs> Whatever. No, no, I mean, there's... Bro, if you look at in the, LA, it's like a two hundred fifty dollars ticket. In the parking, if you look at parking uh, signs in New York City, it's laughable. Yeah, it, it's you, have, you need like the Rosetta Stone to fucking decide. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I'm also on. Uh, I don't pay my moving violations, but big time suspended license scam going on right now, <laughs> where I drive. With a suspended license. <laughs> but, That's my scam. Wait, you're still doing that scam? Yeah, I'm still But doing see, that. you guys got to- I'm trying, though. I'm trying. <laughs> but you guys got a backup plan. Because if you got a scam, you got to have a backup plan. And if you're scamming in New York and you can't drive, you got a subway. If I'm scamming in LA- I'm Done, dude. I'm not walking to Santa Monica, <laughs> dog. I'll fucking die. There's human feces on the ground. You got a train. That's a good train backup I scam. Actually, he didn't be driving, but- Yeah, my backup scam is then- You know what I used to try to scam is the monthly pass on- uh, Metro North. That's okay. our that's our sub that's our train that goes out of like to the suburbs and shit okay. and into the city. And you know that shit was like four hundred dollars a month to get in from my suburb when I was a kid. So that's a lot of money. Yeah, and same. now it's an app, uh, and it has this little like the DVD thing that bounces around the screen. So you can't just like flash something. It has to yeah. be like electronic. But in the beginning, it was a piece of paper. Yeah. And it had like a little hologram and a color. And if you were in the early days of Photoshop, like even just proficient, you could just. Oh, I you doing it? You, yeah. you were paying. A kid no, oh, I was. I wasn't even paying a kid. I just had a friend who did yeah. it. And then you slide it in a wallet, so you just go, you know, one of those things. Oh, I used and to. And then they're like ahead, and it's like saving five hundred bucks a month is fucking. No you ever joke. do the fake ID? Funny. To get into bars? Oh, like a real fake ID? Dude, I had I had a yeah. fake ID. So I, I had one I bought. I, I went to high school around. But I had friends who lived in New York, so we'd come down here and like we'd buy them like in the East Village in some like dingy little shop. Yeah, like what was the guy like? Because my guy would be different. I want to hear about your guy. But he it was he. Was, I mean, he was exactly what you expect. Did you I don't know because like, I'm from California. You guys <laughs> got like like it, it was Serbians he, he was and like, Middle Easterns, no, Albanians, like an and shit. Indian guy, I an think. Indian guy. I mean, I, I came all the time. I, I honestly don't really remember. They were exactly what you did. Like it was just some seedy guy who like he'd be like pop in here and like. It wasn't straight up like behind, fucking. I went like behind another curtain. Yeah, yeah and, like they, and then yeah. it'd be like the DMV. Like you think it yeah. wasn't like I think in movies they have you hold up like the whole card. It no. wasn't like that. But you take oh like, a no no photo. that's silly. Yeah, you. Um, it would be like they'd have a little white thing behind you or whatever color it needed to be. And yeah, take the and he'd be like, yep. he'd be like back back in an hour or whatever it was. Yeah. But what we would have what we do because some places would have you need two forms of ID. Oh yeah. So we would turn, and I can't believe this ever worked. We would turn our high school IDs into we would change our birthday on our high school ID nice so like I'm born 88 and I would like scratch like get like a fucking Swiss army knife mm -hmm. and scratch off to nice. make it look like 83 yeah and I was like to have your dog bite it a couple right. times <laughs> it's like <laughs> What, my only other form of ID is my you, high school. And so you're like a 22-year-old carrying on your high school, high school ID, ID from five years ago? <laughs> yeah. People are like, I guess. Okay. But then the other, this was a smart scam I would do, is I would have, um, 
Oh, wait, no, I did this when I had my fake passport. I had a fake passport for a while. But That's high level. Bro, that is scary a shit. scam yeah. that ends you up behind bars. I, yeah, a guy I opens out with, hey, buddy, I'll, come I'll in here. Briefly, I was, in, uh, the old, I was in Tallahassee. I went to FSU, and I was at the only 21-plus bar in Tallahassee. Everything else was 18-plus. Gets rated. They would rate it occasionally to find underage kids. And gets rated by the FBI, and I'm standing there at the bar with a beer in my hand, and I'm like, what am I going to do? Right now. Like, should I just take the minor in possession, or like, am I gonna show this guy my, my fucking fake passport? Because, like, this is passport. You, that's bro, yeah, it's like, human trafficking shit. And right? I like mm-hmm. fucking, I like one touch the rest of my beer, get a little, little, little liquid confidence, and I'm like, here you go, bro. I take the passport out, and he's looking at it, and looking at me, and looking at it, and looking at me, and I'm like, Whew, I'm going to jail tonight. <laughs> Fuck, like, made the wrong decision there. And as he's kind of figuring out what he's gonna do. Some drunk kid just punches a cop, and oh, like a oh, roll, and he like throws it back at me and runs over and tackles Scam me. Scam averted. Like, like divine, like, divine intervention. I was like, on that's that my one. boy right there. That is Love great. assaulting an officer. <laughs> Dude, the first, the first, the first illegal ID we used to use with my buddy had one, and he, you know you can name yourself in it. Yeah, he named himself Vladimir Popov. <laughs> it was from Florida because Florida back in the day still had paper IDs. But then my first one, because that one got bumped, like, pretty early. How old are you? I'm 33. 33, okay, yeah. So. We were in Delaware. Delaware was the easy one for me. Delaware was yeah, the Yeah, but just that pla- paper? Because they used to have paper It ones. wasn't paper. You could print very, that bitch. Paper? Very standard. Yeah, I think Florida uh, had a paper ID for a while. Very standard fucking, like, no holograms, no nothing. Very, yeah. Very basic. So then we go, okay, who was the oldest looking dude? It was always me. I'm very, you know, it's like the Anderson Cooper vibe where, like, I went gray at, like, 13 yeah. I look the same That's person. exactly who I think of like, yeah. <laughs> like I look at you I think Anderson Steve Cooper Anderson A lot of Cooper. people do Very <laughs> small yeah. uh, You look, you look like You roll over At the Vanderbilt family <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I fixed their pipes though I've been yeah. in their house <laughs> 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 Their toilets are nice Let me tell you Their toilets are nice boy. I got them things clean This whole conversation Started in debt collections Like yeah I'm like a Vanderbilt man. Like, yeah, I've been there I've met them They don't talk to me Have but... you really been there? <laughs> no no oh, right. no, no. no I was just a plumber for a long time <laughs> so then i go to make my own and we went to this like weird picture shop and then the guy goes i'm gonna pick you up and i'm th- i'm expecting like you know like taken kind of guy like mm-hmm. eastern european this dude pulls up in in this is like 2007 so he pulls up in an h1 remember those yeah, oh the, yeah. the small hummers the small yeah. hummers yeah. and he comes out and he's tex-mex out <laughs> giant hat like he's got the snake head shoes <laughs> where he walks like the fucking guy and i went to his house and he had a whole setup like a real deal machine mm-hmm. and i had that thing for so long uh oh it was beautiful i still think about it to the day I it's not it. as fun giving an id no. when it's not legal there's a little bit of a rush that you Yo, get. my, yeah, my buddies um i was very lucky i had my brother who's older than me so when he kind of like you uh yeah enough nice. so um so when he got his like i think he just said i lost my id got a new one gave me his so um these guys always bust my balls because right be- before he did that i took his fake id yeah so he's four years older he needed to be four years older when he was like 18 to be like 21 20. oh you took his fake id so took his fake effort <laughs> so when, when he was a fake when, fake id yeah. so when he was yes so when he was 21 he gave me his fake at first and then was like in a few months i'll say i lost this you can have the real one but for now here you go that shit said 1978 on it <laughs> <laughs> dude, they I fucked look, up my passport look, <laughs> my literal one said 1963 no way what? no one ever checked it dude that's so a, got it to i don't know what you what? Can do with that but that's <laughs> you still wild. use it I get scared, but I don't go anywhere very cool. <laughs> you should get like some fucking like AARP social security. That would be payments. great too. So like, just scam there. Yeah. <laughs> like, you look great for your age, dude. My uh, my friends when they went and got fake IDs though, I wish I was a part of this, but I had my brother's real one. They uh, it was heavy fifty cent G unit era, Fantastic. and we were big time. Tall like, tees? Thought we were, oh yeah. Oh, I love thought we were rappers, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. people wearing the G unit shirts that have. Did you guys have a rap group going up? Uh, I, yeah. I I did not. Have I, I there was two. I had one. two, two, two. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Malibu sipping. <laughs> Malibu sipping. <laughs> you spit bars. Um, it was very Mac Dre kind of like. We it was me two. I had two groups of friends. They were strictly fisticuffs. Better name, very good name. Ooh, Ooh they beat, they us, beat on us, us. They beat me on the name, and honestly, where could we go from there? Yeah. And then we were Malibu. I Sippin. don't know. Malibu Simmons is pretty good. It though. was pretty fun. We used to <laughs> record in the backseat of my buddy's car. But That's keep going. Hilarious. So these guys went and got three fake IDs. One dude made his name Curtis Jackson. 
white or black? Uh, white. He's all oh, like nice, white. Nice, 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 hockey nice, players. Nice, nice. Curtis Jackson, Lloyd Banks, and then oh. the last guy was Anthony Yayo <laughs> for Tony Yayo. Yeah, Tony Yayo. And, yeah. and Anthony. This is a m- and name. like nobody ever really caught on because I yeah they're not really in New York too. Yeah, it was very strange. I think that's just how you know they're going. Uh, 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 we had the you know. G unit shoes. Oh, we had it all, dude. The <laughs> shoes, the the shirt that looked like a gun holster. Dude, I heard a guy line. listening to Fifty Cents Get Rich or Die trying today coming here. Dude, really? it, uh, you know maybe why it was like the anniversary like a week ago of the album. I think it was the tw- yeah, 20, like very recently. I think it was the twenty year. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm, 10, that could 10. be. It. That's what twenty twenty three. No, because like I was in high school. No, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could be I would guess it could be two thousand three. Really? Yes, yeah. I, yes, because I was definitely. I would have guessed. I five. was in high school. Two thousand and three. Yeah, yeah. I would have guessed. Two thousand right before I went up. Bro, that is a. Remember, did you be driving? Wingsta would be uh, everywhere, uh, bro. That, that album is no misses. Okay, 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 hits. okay, okay. What's your go-to hit? Because I already got mine. Easy off. Give Richard Die Trying. If you got one song, many men, many, many men, fucking men, <laughs> dude, I'm that, a like, god with that, that, that shit. That is a. That is, when you talk about your favorite songs, that's a subjective thing. No, no, no. Many Men is the yeah. correct answer to that question. I want to be buried to Many Men. <laughs> People put me down. Many but Men. It sucks. <laughs> like, that like I just me. wish, I wish I lived that lifestyle more than my lifestyle, just so I could True. be like, I could actually listen to Many Men and be like, True. yeah, man. Yes. Yes. I'd give up all this cushy shit just to be able to, like, yeah, man. Well, I mean, like, I do feel it. But I, I'll I say guess this. It, actually, it translates. Kind of, yeah, it translates. Yeah, like, yeah, many yeah. men do wish death upon you. That is it, true. <laughs> it can't be in the So business. now I'm living it. You're right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. It's not in the same vein as Yeah, 50, and I'm not going like, like, to, like, shoot people and no. shit. It, but but like, people are wishing people come for your job. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a finance guy, people try and take your desk. If you're a fucking zoologist, some of that new guy is trying to take the monkeys from you. Many men translates to anything you got. Many me. Someone's fucking coming for yeah. you, bro. That's a great point. So now it does work. Now it oh, does. Oh, it's work. so good. That, but it does. I mean, you could, you could pick any song. You could fucking throw a dart. You say a name off that that album. I'm like, okay, that's yeah, your favorite. I can, that's your favorite. I can do almost every goes, bar. You know, I could patiently waiting. Oh, oh. I, 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 I liked it fine. I'm not a big rap guy, but like, yeah. I, I did like. I couldn't name any other. John ones. actually grew up white. It was. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, huh? It was many men. Is uh, like I like that's a fine one. Yeah. You could tell. I, I couldn't. I, I in the clubs on that right? Is yeah, candy shop classic. on that? No, you know, that's later. That's no, the next one. Massacre. I'll read you um, the whole. But the while he was looking to we had uh, uh, we had my buddy his um his mom passed away, and we drove up to like go like you know be boys and kind of take care of him kind of deal, and we were like yo man let's get your mind off this like let's go. Let's go see Get Rich or Die Trying in theaters. Oh, oh the movie. movie was pretty good, too. It was Wait, not yeah, what's, bad. The, what's the opening scene, bro? Yeah, it's... it's He's a, burying his mom. It's, it's, <laughs> 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 we were take sitting, a bathroom break real quick, Johnny. Take dude, a bathroom break. It was me, me and my buddy drove up, and our buddy whose mom had passed away sitting in the middle of us, and we were like, you got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Like, It was the most uncomfortable four minutes of my entire life. Yeah, that's wrong. Dude, I mean... Like my style, 21 questions, don't push me. 21, 21 questions. questions. Tell me you don't tell. put yeah. that to a girl right I, now. I remember yeah. that. Uh, I, I, I missed me if I was down. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That snippet, there was a oh, snippet so that good. leaked, and it was like 30 seconds. And it was weird because it was like kind of sing songy, and yeah. it was like it was a little bit romantic. Yeah. And I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It was very it was so good, dude. You know what I was saying? Uh, many was... men, heat, gotta make it to heaven, back heat down. Fire. What up, gangsta? In the club, if I can't, poor little rich, high all the time, all pimp. Good. I mean, they're yeah. all like, all if I can't, if I can't, like that. That's one a great and then one. the skits were good too, because yeah. half of me's like fucking up Jaw Rule, yeah. and that shit made my dick hard as a little kid. I was like, "You gonna have a Jaw Rule? <laughs> He's the biggest dude in the fucking world." Do you remember world. like the the G Unit like mixtapes, like not even the albums, like. The, the fuck I yeah that Piff is that you yeah yeah is that you Josh yeah, I used to fuck with that oh, Piff man, that was, that was very Lloyd Banks Lloyd Banks was big Lloyd Banks Lloyd Banks I, is kind of slept I on I I think Lloyd Banks got stepped on a little bit I think Fifty Cent wanted to keep it I think Fifty Cent oh, knew agree. that Lloyd Banks had some of the most clever raps like yep. ever written yep. and I think if he Beam got, if he got the full pitch, Beam of Benz full push I think he would have been he like been regarded at, yeah and yeah. I think they were like I'm the star well they said Lil Wayne did that with Cash Money Young Money yep and they we did put a lot of after he down. fucking jacked his entire style yeah. from Gilly the Kid <laughs> oh wait, wait! wait sure? You can't go after Lil Wayne, the greatest rapper of all time. We uh, don't got to do this. I, I uh, listen. Oh, I I I, lo- I love Lil Wayne. He's just he stole his flow from Gilly. It's just a fact. If you listen to Gilly on BT in the basement with his freestyle, it's I mean it is it is exactly Lil. Wayne. But I would style. say there's two different. But also Lil then Lil Wayne took it 
and did there's written that, little wayne and then there's, there's off the like, top little yeah, wayne yeah, yeah yeah that's true written little wayne was like kind of the hot boys bling bling kind of shit it was good but then when he started going on other people nothing is fucking cooler in the world than about the five year stretch that little wayne had yeah, when when there was a hot song he went on that song yeah, and, and then rapped it. harder than yeah. everybody else <laughs> Could you imagine, like, if someone came in when you weren't working, did your podcast here, <laughs> and fucking buried you? That's the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, my day off, dude. We <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't know we were working. That it took me a month to make that song. Could you imagine somebody being like, all right, answer the internet. Let's do it. Just doing our whole shit. Blow us out of the water. I was listening to. Uh, do you guys come up with the answer in it? Yeah. My God, you guys fucking <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, we do it. We do it I know, all. I love it all. I love it. it all. Um, I was listening to. I've been listening to this hip hop podcast a lot. I keep referencing it on the show. It's called uh, Reflections of a DJ Road, and they were talking about the old school like days of of rap, with the Source magazine and all that oh, shit. Yeah. The guys at the Source had Illmatic nine months before it came out, and just like sat on it and like waited and did the right thing. But what I found out was it it uh, it leaked like ahead yeah. of time. So when it finally dropped, there was no like fanfare because everyone's like, we've been listening to this for like months. And so a lot of like the kind of the argument about Jay Z and Nas and how big Nas and all that and record sales. You look at like the numbers; they're not good. But it's like because it it leaked. Could you imagine having a, an album right now for nine months? But also it would the, leak like in nine minutes. The leak back then oh, was, was the like. It was so a nice handshake. You give a homie, you'd be like, "Here's a there CD." You, yeah, you yeah, weren't yeah, downloading yeah. off the Dat no, Piff no. when fucking he was. You know around. what I did senior year of high school? I uh, I needed to make some money for uh, <laughs> spring break to go to the uh, to go to Acapulco. Love that sentence. And I uh, um I I uh, scammed I the it. blueprint too. Oh, nice. The double. It was the double CD. And I printed. I um, I remember this, Sarah. I fucking burned all the CDs. Yep. I printed out like w a one sheet of the cover. I stuck it in, and then I glued the CD cases together because it was a double CD, and I sold them. That's a high class. That's a high class bootleg, though. That yeah. is. It you was, had an I was art. You, you were doing art. I was giving you a full double CD that opened yeah. up both ways, you know, yeah. and had every fucking. I was doing it. just a sharpie, big pimping, yeah, yeah, done, yeah, 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 and I gave yeah, it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best stuff. <laughs> it's just, that's just gone. Yeah. Like the, the, you'll never know that again. You'll never know. You know, albums either don't leak, there's no bootlegs, and if there are, it's streaming, yeah. and, and the remixes and all that shit, there's, those aren't, that are not real, mm -hmm. like, you don't get to listen to those. You it know sucks. what, the, I, I was thinking about recently, and it's funny that this has kind of come up now, you saying, like, you grew up actually white, is I like punk rock, I like, like pop punk. I like, like oh, my, I didn't like shit. pop punk, I like the, punk rock, um, And I think I've realized that now, because we were all raised on either pop punk or rap, Every internet personality is either pop punk or rap. You're one of the wow. other. It, it, it is either like because our it is generation like, is also the ones. I'm using. sad. Please like me. Yeah. Or this is what I think. I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> <laughs> that's such an excellent point of view. <laughs> that is like that's how we were raised, and it is you're one or the other. It's you a valid know? point. <laughs> it's a valid point. And if you mix them, where we fall. You <laughs> yeah. know, like. And then just like politics, the guy in the middle <laughs> is right. Yeah. yeah. Like if you can make the pop punk <laughs> guys a little bit sad. <laughs> so he's listening to like. Uh, Fucking like Nickelback, just like right Childish in the middle. Gambino, Super maybe. Yeah. Childish Gambino's yeah, a, little a little sad boy both. shit. A little bit of both there. That's a great, that's a great uh, <laughs> observation there, Johnny. I was thinking, um, what was it? You you texted me something recently, and I replied to it with. Um, Welcome to my life. Oh, you had diarrhea. Take some of your warm beer. <laughs> yeah, you can make it. I'm on one. To be honest. <laughs> um, and. Uh, I, I replied, I just sent you the video, welcome to my, I forgot it was, I thought it was something a lot more serious than you had diarrhea. <laughs> and I replied to you with the, the, the video to welcome up to my life. And, and it was, uh, do you ever feel like breaking down? Do you ever feel out of place? Like someone, somehow you just don't belong and no one understands you. I was like, oh, that's like the podcast sometimes. <laughs> it is, it's your punk rock or your rap and that's your whole person. Like, I actually hate that phrase. Like, it's your whole personality. It accidentally is. Yeah, but it becomes. I mean, music 
it does become like who you are because it, it's what you end up wearing. Yeah. It's what you end up listening to. Singing, and it's in what you're feeling. You know what I mean? Totally. When you're walking down the street with your headphones in, you can be like, my dad doesn't love me. Yeah. Or you can be like, <laughs> I'm a many men wish <laughs> them on me. And I'm looking at every motherfucker at the stop sign. Like, you wish you were me. You didn't get me today, Jack. <laughs> Man, the fucking good old days. Um, what do you think of rap now? I'm still in it. Everything well, like I'm not in it. You know, I'm too old to get in, like too. I mean, SoundCloud is so five years ago, but like the guys getting too, where it's like almost all ad libs now. Like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like the Playboy Cardi, that's where my line stops. My line stops. Whew. So so much further than that. Why well, are like you? A, were you a young thug guy? No, not even, oh, bro. I love. I mean, I'm a little thug. older than you, so like I. I mean, I really that that whole genre. I'm just like the mumble rap. You're whole, out on out. Twenty One Savage. Eh. 21 Savage just has a very people gasp when I say this, but it's a very like yes childish flow to me. Just but like, you know what the thing is? The thing is, is if you kill someone or like do stuff like that, it you could be a worse rapper. Like the worst yeah. person you were, the like you Gucci Man. Yeah. Gucci Man was pretty fucked up for a long time before he did it, <laughs> yeah. and that's how bad of a rapper he was. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm in, dog. Whatever you did. <laughs> Because what you're saying is actually true, but then right. you got Logic, real who's shit. a great rapper, but, yeah. but he's yeah, like man. a dork, a bald dork guy at 24. I don't yeah. want well, to he's, he's like doing the punk shit, like crying about his dad. Yeah, he's crying about his dad. I'm like, yeah, 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 you don't do that here. You can't be in that lane. Yeah. No, 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 no one wants that lane. That's sad stuff. <laughs> um, when did you get into comedy? How old? 22. 22. So you got like 10 years under your belt, 11 years under your belt? Is that? Yeah, 11. Eleven, yeah, yeah, yeah. Started and, a place called Laps and Lemon Sacramento. Where'd you go to school? Sac State. Sac State. That's I right. only you're, did you're it like Sacramento through and through, right? Nine one six coming with nine inch dicks. We out here playing. Yeah, play. yeah, come come yeah, say yeah, something. Yeah. Sixty nine four twenty plumbers union. We're right here. Call your mama. Tell her to call me. We out here, baby. <laughs> favorite plumber's favorite plumber. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, your mom knows about me, dog. Fix the pipes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I always felt everyone says I kind of had an East Coast vibe, and it's kind of like I feel like Sacramento's always dumped on in California. You know, you got your older brother San Francisco, then you got your way fucking cooler brother L.A. Mm-hmm. So it was a great place to start. Started there, then went to San Francisco, then went to L.A. Cali through and through. Never, what, never did the West Coast, uh, East Coast. I've done it with Bert. Yeah, or like Bobby lived, yeah. or Andrew. I've never done it out here. And I would have, I felt it would have been more my vibe, but you know, like one's a five hour, hour drive for my parents. If I got a bad fucking day, so I'm going to go home. The other is like a six, seven hour flight. See, everybody's so still got a little, I love you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my parents were great. I have no, my parents were good. Yeah. Good. Um, Very blue collar. My dad was a, a plumber and then he, I mean, but like you ever got, like how you pause. I think we all could have guessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was like, but he's Imagine more he was than like, that. My dad was a bio, <laughs> biochemical yeah. engineer. Nah, but he was more than that. He was like a genius. He could do anything. Uh-huh. And I would be his assistant so in everything I did. you, obviously, being a plumber for a while, are pretty... I'm and pretty handy. You're, you're, you're a little plumber nepo baby. Yeah, you're. Yeah, nepo. I'm a nepo baby. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a Jiffy Lube nepo baby. I'm gonna be managing you know one what? of them real quick, dog. <laughs> I feel like like, like nepo, baby. nepo baby. Blue collar has more nepo babies. Than Total. Oh, oh. I mean, they, they keep it as a fucking in-house empire. unions. Yeah. Unions, yeah. Are, unions like, are nepo. It's Dude, just staying. Get off Jamie Lee Curtis's dick, bro. You fucking. You're a nepo baby. Yeah, I'm dog. a nepo. Yeah, I would have been one. I would have been working the city of <laughs> Cal- Sacramento with the orange shirt, Dude, fixing the streets. The minute. All it takes is you need one family member with a college degree yep. to have like you or know, like a fake union. uncle, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you're the captain of this or the leader yeah. of that, and then it's like your nep- nephews yep. are getting in, and your kids' kids yep. are getting in. And we're, you know, everyone's getting paid off. You know what the worst part now. of that shit though is in nepotism in art. Even if the person's not talented, they can keep going. Mm. Whereas, like, you got the blue collar, then you're like, fuck, and I give Danny a job. And he's I a goddamn can't. sweeping the floors at night for five right, years. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. He can't do this. He can't yeah. do this. He's Bro, an idiot. I, I, I was think... a Nepo baby for a fucking, uh, fucking, I can't even know. <laughs> it was like, a, no? huh? Accounting? Account no. Finance? No, no, no. I mean, no. insurance, insurance. No, no, no. I was a Nepo baby for fucking. Digging holes, basically. It oh, was yeah, nice. It was uh, who, who in the family is digging holes? My my uncle, but it's a fake uncle, owned uh, a, com- yeah. uh, a construction company on the vineyard where it was like it's you, you like dug hole like dug line for cable. Got yeah. it. And it's bro, I, I remember, 
remember fucking we, awful. We were doing like we were like digging for like a beach house in the sand, digging a hole for a fucking septic tank or something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, <laughs> these people were furious. I was there. I bet. Like, like they're like just nothing but in the way. Shovels just fear. Like, oh, what the neighbors. The fuck is this kid doing here? <laughs> I couldn't dig. I couldn't. Bro, yeah, I just, like you're, you're literally. A waste of time, bro. It was get it out was of the way and let me dig rain. it. It was like it was like they're like just let us dig the fucking hole. I'm just dumping sand back into the hole because we're digging it in a dune, mm-hmm. and I'm just filling it. And I have never seen three grown men freak out. As bad. Yeah, there's no place meaner <laughs> than five guys holding a hammer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will bang your fucking head into the ground. I was like yeah. 19. Like, the, wow, uh, how the fuck did you get a job? Yeah. I don't know, dude. Your uncle's like, we're not related. We're not actual uncles. <laughs> yeah. We're the other kind of uncle. <laughs> Nepo babies, I think, are. I'm going to rebrand them as just like your parents actually uh, loved you and, and took care of you right. and gave uh, you something. Like my, like my. Okay, go. Well, I'm I just saying that, that. My, my dad is uh, very handy. Very, you can do electrical work, handy yeah, my work, dad's mechanic work. Incredible. Got a, a, a. I think he got a degree in nuclear fucking science. Well, was working on the dad, in the engine room of of uh, in the Merchant Marines. All this shit. But when we were we, I remember growing up, I thought a hammer. I called it the damn hammer. Because my dad, <laughs> I'd be like, where's the damn hammer? Because my dad would always be like, what's the damn hammer? So I thought it was called a damn hammer. So I was always like around him when he was doing shit, but he was never like, here's how to do yeah. it. It was more like, here's how to do it. And I'm, no, I'm just fucking doing Yeah, it. they I'm take like, it from And me. then I'm just a fucking, I'm you, I mean, we are used to To this day, I still get a panic attack between a Phillips and a screwdriver. Oh. I'm like, I know the difference, <laughs> but I don't know if he's going to fucking get mad at me. <laughs> I know, I know this is a star. Dad is a star. star. <laughs> He's like you're 33 years old. It's a star. See, okay, so this is my That's thing about nepotism, funny. right? Nepotism, nepotism is good in life. <laughs> yeah. I don't think nepotism should be an art. Art and sports are Agreed. supposed to be things that are performance Meritocracy. based. Yeah. That's yeah. what they exist for. Mm-hmm. That's the thing you think about the American dream. The American dream ain't going to be you working for some company doing your thing. The American dream is going to be are you an incredible athlete and you're able to build yourself out of something or are you an artist and that you're able to create art that spoke to people normally from your you know downtrodden type of people. And that's what bothered me because art right now is just nepotism. They're- yeah. No, it's just are, rich kids, kids doing shit. Are there? So I, I obviously I, I didn't I know it was a New York magazine or New Yorker or whatever it was that like put out like basically it was just like hey that you didn't know these people had famous yeah. parents, which is also a, a fun thing I think in the indie music scene. They they always like go check out your favorite indie artist music page. I bet both or I heard their Wikipedia. I bet both their parents have Wikipedia's themselves. Yeah, Where it's like yeah. everyone's a monster. Whether or not you're a you know front man for a but band, like, you might be a producer. Also, art's a lot like, easier to create when you don't got to pay rent. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Is like, go ahead, just finish. That. I was just gonna say like the ones that come to mind. I actually think are good. Like Colin Hanks, I think is fucking great. I love mm-hmm. Orange, uh, Orange County fire movie. Fire uh, uh, everything. Uh, 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 Colin Hanks has been. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Chet Hanks, Chet. though, a little bit better. Chet. Oh, no, wait. What way are we going, Chet? <laughs> Chet? That Hanks. interview yeah. he had with Chet Z-Way? Fire. Z-Way? <laughs> you seen that one? No. One? Z-I-W-E. She had a show on HBO or Showtime. She roasted that full, and he was so... Just a man that has taken shots to the chin his whole life. <laughs> whole life. She kept throwing it to him, and he just was like, ate yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> ate it. You're an idiot. Okay, I got money, though. <laughs> yeah, you can't uh, rap. Well, this bar's fire. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Pac-Man and this I bitch love- killing it right now. Dude, I, Dude, I actually just when watched When he was his- going through his, his patois phase, and uh, run, yeah, boy, he was run doing- my class. <laughs> he was doing that. Pussy, pussy man. She I was, was like, Jamaican. Yeah. He was doing it. I'm like, <laughs> yes. Remember when he did... Um, <laughs> what, rich uh, white boy summer or what was it? Yeah, 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 white boy summer. White boy and, summer. Then, and then he made the merch, and it looked very, uh, very third right, very third right, very. very <laughs> and then, and then, but then you know what he did? He pulled it down. He was like, <laughs> he was making a video on the beach. He's like, so the merch came out, and I've listened to the feedback, <laughs> and I understand that uh, it, the, the way oh. I intended it to come out was not really received. <laughs> We're gonna change. It. I love he's on a beach too. He's like <laughs> drinking a margarita. You know, things are tough for everybody right now. And, uh, we're all in this together, Wild boy. <laughs> Wagwan. Wagwan. He, uh, I actually just watched his. He, I forgot he was in Curb. I just watched him in an episode yeah. of Curb the other day. Yeah, he's the, he's uh, the Jeff's, veteran, Jeff's daughter's right? wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff's yeah. husband. He, uh, all he does is like shake his hand. I think, but it's funny. But, no, because no, then he has a PTSD attack. Because when, oh, when they're when yeah. they're. Uh, 
That is so they're, good. They're fuck. What do you call it? Civil War reenactment. Yep. Uh, I, think he's yeah, I love. Whatever. I love. See, that's like if I was a nepo baby, I'd be like that. What's the point of being a nepo baby and like not, you know, not? Are there just any nepo babies that come to mind that are bad though? Oh, and and so I, I don't know. Then I don't I know what so many. I don't want to roast. You're so more successful than I. <laughs> <laughs> is there but, a lot of that? Is that yeah. a lot of that in comedy? Uh, no, I'm wrong. Yeah, very wrong. Okay. <laughs> from like, well, from I can like attack stalk. one guy. No one likes him anymore. Chris D'Elia's dad's incredibly important. Who, who's oh, that? really? Yeah, he was like a, one of the heads of CBS one time for a while. No shit. Okay. Also, Nick Kroll's dad is one. Well, it was he's like a huge fun guy, though, right? Yeah, yeah, he's just yeah. money. Right? Yeah, he's. So Julia Louis Dreyfus I mean. billionaire. Yeah. Is Julia Louis Dreyfus was a billionaire before she saw residuals for Seinfeld. Fucking. But Chris she's dumbass but, talented. Well, she's crazy. Talented. Like if you got That's a Nepo baby and it's not like they're singing over a beat that you bought for four hundred grand from fucking DJ Mustard and all this kind of stuff, Dua Lipa, and then like, really? Yeah, her Yo, dad is way more dumb. than I thought. The, oh, go through it, and who, it'll blow your mind. Who is is it? Like a executive? Yeah, he's just very important. Because I, I really also think there's about. also a difference. Because to me, that's just having a rich dad. Yeah. I mean, if it's in the industry, it's nepotism, no doubt. I get that. But I think there's a very big difference between like my dad is an executive or a producer or owns the label, whatever, versus like my dad is, you know, like. A plumbing magnate. <laughs> <laughs> he still well, like, wouldn't be like, able to like, help like, you. Uh, to take it to sports, like LeBron and Bronny. They play basketball. Uh, Puffy, well, that's nepotism Puffy. the highest form. Yeah. That that's kid's I mean. scoring 13 points and five rebounds a game. He's like, <laughs> and he's on the fucking gonna, All-American team. We're, we're already talking They're about selling what out Calabasas NBA team. Teams, dog. <laughs> we're, we're like, what NBA team will he play on with LeBron? Yeah. Like, I was like, is he good enough to make the NBA? I, mean, like, I, I, was, I, was, I didn't read the article, but The Athletic put out one the other day. that says he's a four-star recruit with a five-star name. He ain't at even four score, bro. You know, bro. At least, yeah, they're probably, they're probably his bumping His stats up are too. crazy. But like, and um, it's like, imagine the people that, like, you're at fucking playing Compton High and you're dropping 25 a game, and seven and seven. Like, and and everyone's that. looking at this guy yeah. and you've just got to be losing your yeah. fucking yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, if it's in a business, you're an accountant or you got a plumbing firm and you do it, it's <laughs> different than if it's a thing that's supposed to be based but off I, I, merit. I also don't get, though, like, what are you supposed to do? Say no? Because, again... Yeah, if, you don't if, get to do it. If it's You're like, out, dog. If it's like, yeah, <laughs> like, uh, You're out. Uh, I, I think, what's what's Puffy's kid's name? Prince Combs or something like that? Prince... Prince Was Prince, Prince was he supposed to go to USC? Wasn't it him and... Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Snoop Dogg's kid went to USC? And, and then... And, and the, Little Romeo went to the the USC, same. too, right? Didn't Ro- Lil Romeo? Lil Romeo is a good one. Who's who's his um, uh, who's Ma- his dad? Master P. Master P. Big Romeo. Yeah. Big, yeah. big <laughs> Romeo. Yeah. Yeah, but like P. if 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 it's like my dad used to rap and now like he passed me the mic, I can understand that being like, get the fuck out of here. If it's like I'm trying to be a rapper and my dad is in the music industry, so I get some studio time or some connections, like fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you and then you have to be good. But be good. And then run yeah, with yeah. it. I I think what here's what I would do to boil it all down. I would definitely like accept my nepo baby role, and I would go after it. And I would have you'd have to have the self awareness to know if it's working or not. And I, it, and the minute that it's not, be like, okay, dad, teach me how to do like the executive side of it, or let me go do something totally else and you know different. But what the fuck's the point of you know? Yeah, lineage. Well, yeah, yeah, it's like uh, what am I even fucking doing if if my kids aren't gonna you know use where what I built. I just hope that they're a little bit embarrassed. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah. Just be a also, little bit also, embarrassed. I just want just one. know you did this because just of what you Just say it. Just say be like, if hey, one my dad's popping. Just... I am so blessed, and I know that I get beats that I don't deserve, or or I'm on stage on, uh, at places I don't deserve. But like, I love the art form, or whatever. Blah, blah blah blah. Talk all that shit up. I think. You'd still get shit on, but I think a lot more people would like be like, that. okay. Yeah, don't I be like, it. came from the sticks, dog. No yeah. one believed in me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, 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 Don't be Travis nah, nah. Kelsey after the yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. Nobody believed on the Chiefs' name. Huh? Well, four, 15 and 2, no one <laughs> fucking believed in us. Now, now, don't get me wrong. The Patriots, I believe it was the 04 Pats, were like the ultimate of that. Like, Rodney Harrison was driving the bus. Nobody believed in Not us. a single bus. Like, he won three or four. I was going to say, you have a dynasty already. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, no one, everyone counted us out. No one thought we were going to win. I love Rodney Harrison, And, and I'll too. tell you what, I, I was like... I was, yeah. probably, I was like 13, being like, talk to him, Rodney! <laughs> talk to him! Yes. No one believed in us, baby! 31! Oh, I think it was 31? Fucking assholes. I hate you guys so goddamn much.
Uh, so you've been a New York fan the whole time. Yeah, whole time. Whole fucking Jet time. Giants? No, Jets Mets. Oh, I like that. See, that's why I fuck with you, bro. Because yeah. those are terrible teams. Terrible. You got. <laughs> you are uh, one of the rare cities that I I believe I and my fellow Mets Jets fans, Nick, Mets Jets Knicks fans, have it worse than anybody in the world because we are a two city, two sport city. So not only do we have we sucked and lost forever, but I had to live through the Yankees dynasty. I got to live through multiple giant Super Bowls, including two of like the biggest ever. They always what we wanted was happening cross town. So when I when mean the you, king, the king, you guys lose. Yeah, your whole city loses together, bro. We have we have like hologram projections that still put up. 2002 Pacific I Champs. I mean, you got like that's on buildings fucked. where I'm from to this day. You got and then I had to watch fucked. these guys. But is well, but it's not like when you walk around in your own city. Like when the Yankees win or the Mets lose, in my own life, I step outside and people are like, "You fucking loser." That's true. The girls I date, the guys I hang out with, the places I work, all of that. It's just like we won another championship. You fucking that's suck. True. So to me, we did have the Warriors though. That, so I was gonna and ask, then there's a lot that, of flip floppy motherfuckers that I you'll go back that. to a party that's and I'm like, like you wearing a fucking Warriors hat yeah. right now, bro? Yeah, that's you that's went to cool high school too. with me. What planet you on, dog? That would be like if the Nets panned out and and had like a dynasty. If all of a sudden there was Knicks fans, but I'll tell you, in our city, like the Nets never were and never will be anything. Even when they, even when the well, big three started the first time with KG and Paul Pierce, like don't care. The next one, we were like not gonna work. It, it's just, but so this is all to say, I, I I still will maintain having Big Brother right in your face. Fucking That's sucks. That's worse. But Sacramento is up there. Minnesota is up there. There's I a couple. Minnesota got the like, Vikings. Holy shit. I mean, that, if, if that's your statement, that's pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, that never is. The good, thing, got Kirk, okay? yeah, the good thing for Sacramento, for the Kings, though, is I feel like Kevin Durant is on a quest to play for the most historically irrelevant franchises. <laughs> and, like, you guys are up next, dude. Up is, got, yeah. got Oklahoma off the list, got so Brooklyn, got this. Phoenix, dude. I'm happy you brought that up. I believe in I mean, sports. Golden State is historic. Like, the last decade they've been – but, like, before that, did they, they were fuck about Golden State? That is, they were so they, they, awful. They're, they're kind of they, – they fly the in face of my mascot was awful. Theory, remember like, that old mascot? No. Well, it was just a man in the – you remember the green suit from yeah. Always Sunny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was orange. He just ran around. No way, dude. It was so embarrassing. That slave, you got to bring that back. It was just I don't remember like, his name. I didn't give a fuck about them. Yeah. You know, I was just Kings fan. Well, they, 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 they do. We got slams. They Shout are a slams very, him, baby. Uh, I think they're an outlier to my thought. Like, I think there are certain franchises that just lose, and they are just born to lose. And, like, we'll see with the Suns this, this time around again. Like, I think the Phoenix Suns, like, you're never going to win because you're the Suns. I think the Kings are on there. Like, you're just the Kings. No. But then you look no, at, like, no, the no, Warriors, no, 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 and it's no, no, like... No. Yes. One, we should have won one, because the, yes, literally everyone said we... That is, that's you're crazy. The Kings. That, that's kind of almost better than winning, though. Be like, dude, we were involved. Yeah, because you don't know if you're actually going to win it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that wasn't that was finals, That was a W for us. You, you, you definitely were going to make I it. I think this <laughs> team... You weren't going to win it. Who, I think who, this team's different. Who the Lakers play? Nets? Was that a good Jason Kidd year? I mean, we could bang off the Nets with that, him, Richard Jefferson. Oh, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, he played that. Oh, no, I think also, what was it, the Philly year? I wouldn't know. I don't know. It was either Philly or the Nets year, and both those teams are dog shit. Yeah. We would have banged through all of them. So if you had beaten, beating Kobe and Shaq in their prime, those Lakers years, like, and you did, you did like, you did it. We did it. You're like, you, you they, did the it. The guy obviously did it. And, and watch, bro, watching it when you know the refs. Or fucking you is now, exactly is exactly like nepotism. <laughs> it's exactly like fucking. So that's why it around. fucks with me so much. Because yeah. I'm like, they are screwing me over right now. Huh? I do not deserve yeah. this. Yet there's nothing yeah. I can do. Thank you very much. That Jackie. was also proven to be like Donahue, right? Yeah, like, Donahue, where, yeah. like that wasn't just like when when someone makes a bad call and everyone goes, it's fucking. Rigged. Is he Donahue or Donahue? Donahue. Donahue. I, think I don't Donahue. care. Fuck him. Right. Let him <laughs> die and rot. <laughs> in the fucking hey, we gotta podcast call him now. D. Uh, he, he? Oh, I think he does, fucking yeah. rat. <laughs> fuck. Podcasts giving pr- employment to the worthless for a long time. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> I was gonna say, cheers, boys, <laughs> to the worthless. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Man, that, that I is... got one interesting thing to say. You want to listen to my podcast for ten years? <laughs> and then, oh, that documentary was such a bullshitter. He he's got scam artist though. Yeah, he's a, a scam. So I like you make as it, a scam guy. Yeah. I was like, get a homie, shine love bright. Love a good scam. Many men of what he's talking. Wish that for point, Lord and mine. 
that that to me if you run a good scam that's why I like that look at those ftx guys and and some of these finance dudes i'm like yo i mean you just got caught you but like, you and know? a lot of times it's poor guys that scam people once they get money like yeah, uh, which i kind of like that made too. off i like when you made off scammed a lot of people but he he didn't he didn't start off rich yeah those guys no? the, the, the the it's always the the, the nepo dude, babies dude. It's, the, it's the next generation that fucks everything up yes because it's too but easy the first like talented. in new york there's the dolans and the will ponds and all these guys and if you look their fathers ran the sports teams they made money elsewhere ran the sports teams everything was good gave them to their sons <laughs> fucking sucks because they have no you know concept of worth or whatever james dolan is using facial technology to keep people out of the garden of anybody who works for the company that is engaging in a lawsuit with him and cable and like his company. Which, How much you got to pay for that? Yeah. Uh, you know, you know when people are like you're kicked out of the, the arena for life and it's like, yeah, whatever, dude, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Like they actually, I guess, have a scan that's it's like, like Minority nope, Report. Him. He's like, yeah. this guy, yeah, yeah. Fly, it was and a, like, burnt from corn dog. I, I heard stories of like a guy and his daughter showing up to like the circus at the garden and it was like, oh, you can't even go on off nights. Nope. And then they were going to like a concert, I think. And it was like, nope, you're not allowed. And he was like, I'm not even on the case. I just work for that law firm. But I have nothing to do with him. But I'm like tangentially related to it. So like you and your daughter are like out. Which also, annoying and ridiculous for him. I think that'd be kind of cool. Kind of. Baby. Sorry. Like, like daddy's not allowed in the garden. But also like magic. Oh, I, I, was, I was talking about Dolan. I'm like kind of like. Oh, you, no. Like, yeah, fuck no, him, like, man. That's just. I, I mean, mean it's, anybody it's, else, it's, I'd be like, that's a flex, but I just fucking hate it. Well, imagine doing someone. that and your starting poor guard is Isaiah Quickly. Or I guess you got Brunson. But it's like. Don't, you should be. Don't, Brunson's been fun. I was going to say. Stop. Brunson's fucking, been fun. Stop. Put some respect on Jalen Brunson. He's Judge Brunson's good. been fun. He's about to have a baby with Iggy Azalea. You guys will have to deal with that. Oh, really? Uh, she was like. Oh, I saw her hug homie. him last night. I'm like, how'd this girl get on the fucking court? <laughs> <laughs> she ain't court no This ain't 10 years ago. She's got that OnlyFans money now, dude. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she, she do. Not, but she's also like, beware, man. Don't spend your money on that. Yeah, that's You're not poison getting the goods, shit. dude. No, 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 no. Cardi B was there before you? Run, dog. There's but I'm, a I'm demon lives saying, there. I'm saying you can, on the OnlyFans shit, like, she, she's putting out, like, bikini pics and shit. I'm saying it's not oh, worth it. Really? It's like, because I would... Spoken like I a would, man who dropped twelve ninety nine a month. I would it. partake. <laughs> I absolutely would partake. I haven't <laughs> done it yet because I've had a girlfriend the whole time. But I what, like gay. <laughs> what, what you I'm just ex- I, what what it is <laughs> is is a scam to have an out with my girlfriend. Like, hey, if we break up. Papa's dropping three hundred a month on OnlyFans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's gonna be rough, but it might not be that rough. I'm gonna see a lot of people make it survive. that I've been waiting. I got you. Uh, yo, I, I was listening. She, we're gonna get her on the show. Adriana Chechik is coming in March, but she was on with Bert and Tom uh-huh. talking talking shop. She calls herself a sexual athlete, and the way she talks about porn and OnlyFans and shit like that is so fucking gangster and so like business like. It's unbelievable. If she was an athlete, it's... she'd be an offensive lineman. <laughs> have a lot of pressure. Definitely CTE. Uh, <laughs> she's the goat too, man. She's yeah. the greatest oh. of all time. Oh dude. my god, she's the one who kept a normal face. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean. Didn't she's get also weird. Like, she never. She's always. Um, I don't want to say sober, but like. She doesn't ever, she's never fucked up when she's filming because she's like, I have to know every ounce of my body. I can't be numb in any way. She said, she said one time she went to the doctor and was like, I have, I think I have like a cut in my intestines, like five inches in to the right. And the guy like did the scan. He was like, holy fucking shit. You're exactly right. Like She knows exactly what's going on and all that shit. Um, And like um, normal porn people are like, I did that 15 years ago. I never want to talk about it. No, she's 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 like yeah, she yeah still putting up numbers, dog. <laughs> she she so she suffered that horrible injury. You know what I'm talking about? In she, her butt? Yeah, she well she broke her back. She like shattered. Oh yeah, she fell she in the shattered uh, her foam vertebrae. Pit. Foam pit. Yeah, yeah. shattered Damn. her vertebrae. Me, and pit. they were asking her. I hate to give away the whole interview. You should go listen to Two Bears. But the one uh, part, they were like, "So are you having sex again? Are you fucking again?" And she was like, "I tried to the other day, and it fucked me up for like two weeks. So I, I haven't." She goes. If I could just have sex, it would be fine. She goes. She starts, talks in the third person. She goes, "If I could just not be Adriana, I'd be okay." But I can't. She's like, "This guy's fucking me," and I just all of a sudden feel myself putting my my legs above my head in a pretzel, and I just can't <laughs> yeah. stop myself. Like she can't physically stop herself. But I think her OnlyFans is uh is probably more worth it than Iggy Azalea. That's the thing too. It's like when I see like there's like a no, new porn star on some. 
I'm like, why didn't you just go on? Like, yeah. wh- like I don't know the deals or the porn, but it seems like making porn. Well, is that's something. another thing she talks about. She talks about all the numbers and how it all works. So if you're interested in that, it's it's in there. But I, I today nowadays, if you if you're hot enough or you have whatever, if you're a nepo baby, if you got some reason why people want to see you, just skirt the industry, skirt the yeah. fucking networks and uh, whatever the studios. Just it's kind of it. all art. I, now. I feel like it's one of those things though. Like I I think of it almost like any form of Content creation, I think it matters what kind of person you are. Like, are you a go getter? Are you gonna yeah. hustle? Because, like, I think about it like Just if, if I had a, produce you if I had a TikTok you. or whatever, like, like, what do I need Barstool for? I'd rather work here and just get a check every two weeks. Yeah, like, I don't want to be out there fucking like figuring take care out of all like, your shit, how yeah. to do all my fucking logistics and all this shit and yeah. plan my own dates and plan all this shit. I'm like, I'm like I'll just fucking... Yeah, yeah, posting cares. a reel every day is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I want to shoot myself in the fucking crazy, face. crazy, but I don't, it is. I, I don't know if you're kidding or not because I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I genuinely it's fucking awful. find it I, awful. I, I and then I the post people. a reel and then I got to do it on TikTok <laughs> and then I go to YouTube short and by the end I'm like, I'm done for the day. I want to kill myself. I know there are people out there who are like, you guys, you know, you're so spoiled or whatever, but it's like there is something about the weight of having to. You know what I've, you know what I found? If I go on other people's shows, I rarely, we I really, don't care. We really don't. Yeah, then I'm like, send me the clips and I'll post it and whatever. When it's my shit, I'm like, ah, nobody cares. Don't want to do it. Because <laughs> it's art. No matter what you do, a piece of art to me, listen, I'm not nobody. I don't know nothing. But to me, a piece of art is if you evoke emotion in somebody, whether mm-hmm. they're happy, sad, or anything. Mm-hmm. And when you're doing it yourself, there's so much. In it, even if it only gets 10, 20,000 views, you put it out and then you got to do it in four different things. Yep. And they're like, damn, this shit's popping on Instagram. Mm-hmm. YouTube Shorts gave me 30 views. <laughs> like, like, it's the then, same fucking thing. Why does it work? It's Why so work? annoying, dude. Yeah. It drives me fucking nuts. One of these days, it's got to all consolidate yeah. somehow. One time, I'm like, how did, what, like, how's the, the thing so off on each? But app? also, that's why I say fuck it, because it's obviously like, it's obviously fugazi if it's like this yeah. algorithm works and that one doesn't. Yeah. Well, fuck those guys and go yeah. with those guys and just do good shit yeah. that people like. Um, he can't fail. I think, do that long I think enough. you are one of the funniest guys in the world, dude. I think oh, I, 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 I don't mean it in a backhanded way, but I think you're one of the most underrated guys in the fucking game right now. One of those people where it's just like your your money and your and your status and all that shit should just be fucking way higher than it is right now and i guarantee it's gonna get there if you keep doing it well obviously i respect you guys done i respect the minute man so to hear that from you and i feel the same way <laughs> i feel you i know, should though, be fucking can, famous you tell, right? though, like you know what like, it, a lot of people could say that but i think it, you know recognizing when it's kind of true it's hard you got to be you know self-deprecating but also know that you're sm- like you got the goods because it's like Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Something's fucking up here because I know that I'm killing and I got to make sure. I think I look like an old man. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like I'm 33, but I look weathered like I slept outside for the last 10 years. So like, so like TikTok ain't fucking with me because it's a bunch of little kids and they're like, who's this man about to fix my plumbing? And I was like, I was, my dad was a plumber. I didn't know you knew that. I guess it, it might be the hat. The hat looks like a, a Korean The hat, war. too, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. a veteran of uh, NASCAR. <laughs> Rusty Wallace, baby, come see me. That <laughs> does. You look like if you were wearing that hat in the bar, it'd be like, oh, he's seen some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 this, bar, be it this bar right here yeah. gives yes. you so yeah. much clout. Yeah. This is nepotism <laughs> in a hat. <laughs> People see you got this bar, you're like, that's a C-word, C-wary fellow. Dude, I'd send, you, I'd send you a nice warm beer and thank yeah, you for your service. <laughs> you're one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to piss my pants. It's fucking great, but but it's it's coming, man. It will like. I mean, obviously, you were. Well, to- thank you, you guys were- for fucking with me, man. Yeah, no no fucks. I, I, I texted Kevin just, the other day. It's just funny. It's just funny. If you're funny, you know? I was like, I was like, do you know who I think is so fucking funny? And Kevin replied, Steve Fury. It's like that's exactly <laughs> who I was gonna say. <laughs> Dude, the uh, a couple. Mm. I always. There's a few jokes or bits in my mind that stand out that I will like always remember about, about people. You talking about WNBA players getting hot is oh, so, so that fucking sticks hot with now. me so if much. If people aren't watching the WNBA, dog, start tuning in. I don't know if they start investing smoke. in eyelash extensions, but these big pictures are the finest women I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'll do the whole bit. My favorite one right, my favorite one right now is Elizabeth Cambridge. You guys peep that? She's got an OnlyFans. I had no, to get a bigger she? computer screen, switch it on the side. 
I just switch it on the side, get her whole body in there. Oh my oh god. Gosh. She's a she's, she's so funny. She's dominant, dude. And my favorite was everyone got mad at her. She's like, she's fucking up WNBA. I'm like, it's the WNBA. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? It's so a wait, stone. Wait, so she she legit has only She's fans. on OnlyFans. And like But yeah, I haven't paid yet. I, I don't know if she's getting butt naked. I guarantee. Oh, she's got the, the chest hat. That's the game. She got everything. You seen the uh <laughs> the Buzz Lightyear one? No. She, I almost had it in my back burner on my phone. My girl got mad. <laughs> I had to get an Android so it was bigger. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, let me find this Buzz Lightyear. Oh, oh yes, wow! Sir. Right, she looks normal size. Yes. That's how hot she is. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo, yo. Liz you look normal size, dog. Liz Cambridge would fuck you. Oh, you my. You don't fuck I her. Even, she fuck I would, you, I would, She'd put me in like a tampon. I was just doing, <laughs> doing like dance moves and shit. Making her come a different way i never even seen. Yo, anybody who's like, you're on the WNBA, you like can't or are above but it's only fans. Like, dude, they will make, girls on OnlyFans make more than like, Superstars in like in, in Bad Baby made yeah. the same she money as like there. Steph Curry. Yeah, <laughs> so don't talk to me about you know the WNBA payment. The worst part is like in Fuck the WNBA they're like you make more money in Israel. If you make more money in Israel, show your pussy in America, <laughs> dog. The fuck are you doing? No doubt. I would use my WNBA mm. career to propel my OnlyFans career, yeah, and yeah. I would retire from basketball as soon as everyone fucking subscribes. What is See it? See you fucking later. Yeah. That, that, all that hubbub about uh, they want they want to fly private now because, like, I guess certain teams, like, you fly in commercial, and it sucks, and uh, they're like, you know, professional Bro, athletes should fly a private. Chick. What? Imagine yeah, sitting, a middle, chick. sitting middle on fucking JetBlue. You you know? And then you got to play a game that night. You know you play day of. That's spending money in the hotel. Don't well. get me wrong. It sucks. And I and in a perfect world, I would love them to fly private. How the fuck are you going to fly nope. 30 fucking teams, 15 women, 20 women, 25 with the entourage and all that shit? Private for months and months and months. Who? Where's the money coming from? Fucking only <laughs> Also, you know, you ever seen that South Carolina team? No. Man, in college basketball is buck oh, wild. Oh, oh, in, 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 Miami. You remember uh, uh, South Carolina, I think, was the team this past year when we were at the Wilbur for March Madness, and they were up like 51 to 3. Remember that? Vaguely. There was like a vaguely. screen. I had a screenshot of it. It's like making like, good dunking on someone. I don't know what's hotter than that, but the shit is crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I if I want you to fuck me or posterize yeah. me. Yeah, I'm, I'm like if I can just guard you in the post, <laughs> you hit a fucking Back hook shot. Down, yeah. I'm a cop. Just, 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 just do mic and drill on top of me, man. Let's go. <laughs> just just throw me in the post, baby girl. Come here. <laughs> no, it, it is that sticks with me everywhere I go, though. It is so fucking funny, and I feel like. Uh, I hope, um, you know, the tour with Bert was probably a moment where you're like, Bert, all right, things are working. Yeah, Bert. And you're, you're a great fit for the Bert tour. I mean, I, it's just. You know, great. Bert is just a great guy. How long did you guys hang out with him? Uh, for that specific Amsterdam trip? Yeah, what did you do? Uh, five like, days? No. No, it was two. Like two, two, three. Okay. So it was like a travel day, two days of partying, travel day. So the great well, thing. We've also been, and like, we went to the Super Bowl party with him after that. We've gotten a lot of Bert time recently, but not like. So the great thing about Bert is. Like like I say, number one greatest person I've ever met. Show me things I've never even seen. You know, as a man who who was being a plumber's assistant, I've been I've been on private jets. I've mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. I've done uh, the, where the Pacers Fucking play. I've done say, the Cleveland play. Arenas. I've done the yeah. Paint Arena. Crazy thing. But on average, I gain uh, a pound and a half a day. Yeah, <laughs> that's not even a bit. Uh -huh. So when I was gone one time. <laughs> It was 20 days. I gained 25 pounds no on a way. tour. I had to buy a new pair of pants. <laughs> like, that's no just the way. vibe. Right? Like, like, you started in fucking India and ended wearing... in sweats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it had to change. So, like, I'm still recovering yeah, from crazy. being with him. But, you know, as far as, like... Um, it's like an ex, dude. You know, like you're in a bad relationship. Yep. So your, your body yep. is, like, physically... You're, like, like, mad but happy. You get yeah. as fat as you can. Because we just used to eat him and Dave. Williamson, he has this opener yeah. who's like yeah. arguably one of the best barbecuers the, the, the in the barbecue. world. Yeah, yeah. We'd be traveling the country and we'd be eating, you know, lunch, you'd get the best restaurant in town for lunch. For a snack, you'd eat barbecue ribs that were Sna fucking snack 12. Time, boys. Yeah. And these are like $500 rack of ribs this guy's making. Yeah. For dessert, we'd go to, you know, there's a couple like, when, 
it, like it's cool to be able to work with a few people. I've worked with Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino, and Bert are like the guys who fuck with me. And it's like when you go to the dinner with these guys, they always do the thing of we'll get everything on the um, one of everything apps. Mm -hmm. So it's like you get all these apps and you're doing this thing, and it's just I've been I've been lucky to be able to fuck with some of the best people in comedy that have ever done it, like Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino, Bert Kreischer, and it's been great. And then but but Bert, it takes you'll get some. It's I'm built for it. By yeah, being I was like, say, you, you, I guess carry it well. I've never looked. Uh, like, I mean, I I'm when I was with Bert, like, oh, I was 205. I'm 220 now. It's hard to get a 225 now. But it's like nothing more. My life has been worth it. You know, if I yeah. ended comedy of the day, the things that I thought I would have done when I started in Sacramento, go to Luna's open mic, laughs unlimited, Sacramento punchline, I'd be done. You know. Yeah. And I never had the idea of. You know, you come from a small town like that. It's not small. You know, a million, five people. I never had the idea that it would go to an arena. Yeah. All I ever wanted was to do it. So it's like I could quit now and the shit would be perfect. I'm not going to. but don't, don't. I think <laughs> I thank him and I thank those dudes all the time for showing me the world and a thing that I've never seen. Yeah, I mean, the, the consumption is. is yeah, no. I but mean, also, he, like, I think I got held up. I think they were like, who can hang? Yeah, yeah right. So yeah. I was going to say, like. Because I can I, motherfucking I, drink. I went for a couple days. <laughs> And I and I dug back. I got the fastball one more time, but like they were on day nineteen, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then kept it moving afterwards. I meet him at the Super Bowl. I've had a week to recover. He's got us doing fucking meatball luges, rolling <laughs> meatballs down the ice hill. So I'm like, I, I don't know what's what's crazier, the food or the boots, you know? It's it, both it's, of them. They're all top you, notch too. Because yeah, yeah. then like you know, I get to put in an order every day. I got, there's a getter. Of what you want? With Bert. There's a getter with Bert. Yeah, you don't want to go, I'm not going out there like give me some babes and some shit like that, but I can get anything I want anywhere I go. So my normal thing was Casamigos uh, Reposado. I'd smash about a bottle to four quarters, three quarters of a bottle a night. Because the thing about Bert, people, th I mean, we don't have to go on. Oh, tequila. I'll talk about Bert anyway. He switched to tequila. So people think this man is a bumbling, drunken idiot. Right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, he changed comedy in the way that you promote. He's right. the smartest person I've ever met in my life. Right. Number two, he's not drunk all day. Like if we got an off, if we got an off day, he's, he's drunk all day. Yeah. <laughs> but if but it's even a when he's drunk, it feels like he's in control. And it's and he's like just what good. kind of his drunk thing? Yeah. You know, like what's your drunk compared to what's a professional? Yeah. Drunk? Yeah. yeah. But if he's <laughs> working, he's not getting a drink to the second show. Right. Whereas I drink from eight on. The only thing is that, so he gets to drink the second show, and we're up till 6. So by the time, you know, I'm drinking 8 to 6, my drinks are pretty strong. You know, I'm, I live off comedy store drinks when they hook us up, Evie. So. You're fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you get pretty <laughs> fucked up by 6 a.m. Yeah. But I'm on, Dude, a, but a, bus. I'm on a bus. Like, it was That's what crazy. I mean, though. Like, I, uh, 6 a.m. over and over and over again. I almost think, what is the what is the better, what is the more... Mm, what, I'm trying, what am I trying to say? Like, the fact that Burt co-signs your comedy or the fact that Burt co-signs I Can Hang With You, which would which you be more proud of? Well, so I would say this. I would say not all the people he has open for him live this life. Right. Dave Williamson does. Shane Torres does. Those are the guys that really do it. I mean, just him. He was like the guy, you know, being like a... You know, bumbling guy who gets drunk all the time. I looked up to him. Yeah. And for him to be like, this guy can go on tour with me. For, That's what's like when, for we, when we did three this years thing, almost. When we did, it was three years. Wow. Yeah, I probably yeah, lived with him for six months. That's crazy. Across from a bed with him. Yeah. And, and that's what I mean. Like when, when we went, he was like so happy about, he started talking about doing it with other people. And he was like, ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. Maybe not because not everyone's going to be like you guys. And I was like, yeah, you know, they like, can't hang. Knowing dog. that, like we we like people can't hang. Not even like the boozing and being able to hang. Yes, but also like being able to hang. Like you're not lame. You're not annoying. You ain't got a rat time. on shit that's gonna happen. Right. I mean, right. I mean, like the, it, but publicly on purpose. With yeah, them. but yeah. the idea of you getting real drunk and saying something dumb at yeah. four thirty in the morning. Right. Yeah. And someone rides a that's block. Safe, that's like, it. You, it's know, safe. you know what's the good story? Which yeah. is what yeah. say your yeah. shit that you got to say at four thirty in the morning. No one's gonna get mad because we just faced two bottles of fucking tequila. Literally the opposite of Barstool. You know, like at Barstool, I'm like, oh no, I said it and it's out and they're gonna blog about it and fucking kill me and and that's it. You know. Yeah, that's the other thing. People don't realize that, like, he he has, like, 
a routine like a motherfucker when it comes to like his shit is so he, fucking crazy. He's yeah. working all the time. He works so much where I go, I don't want to do stand up anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like if this if is stand up, <laughs> but I don't want why, this. So we have lived the life of the internet for so long, and so everything we do. We have cameras and yep. phones in our face all the time, 24-7. Everything's content. And I think the comedy game started to, like, realize that. Because of Bert. And then, right. Bert, yeah, so Bert is, like, if you're not used to that, if you're just, like, come see me on stage, Bert is, like, in your face. He's got guys everywhere, and I love it. I'm like, oh, I love to see that you guys are capturing. Because you never know when the best joke's going to happen, the best moment's going to happen. But if you don't like that... It's not the life for you. Like it's it's. You not. ain't gonna get in the stadium. I mean, you got Burrs doing stadiums. You got Kevin Hart. He's a movie star. But like, if you want to organically build yourself, like Bird did, it's an all day thing. Like people think he's a fucking drunk idiot. No, walk. this man is so calculated. The second we wake up, he's doing some fucking. Bullshit. I think a radio gig in yeah. Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> some I would spit in someone's face. <laughs> And I got 26,000 followers. No one gives a fuck about me, but I ain't doing radio. And he does it. And then he makes five more videos all day. It's yeah. just like. He's a savage, dude. It's like, you know, when people, when when uh, Steve Kerr would play with Jordan. Yeah. You know? And I and then he sees what he's doing, the shit he's talking, the way he carries himself. And you're like, you know, maybe I'm not going to be one of the greatest of all time. <laughs> I'm going to be pretty yeah, good. I don't have what it takes. I might be a coach. Yeah. I might be able to do my thing, hit some threes. But I'm like, if, if you that, put me together with Steph Curry, yeah. then I'll make some magic. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's what it takes, I'm yeah. like, fuck. It's, man, a good, it's a good level of like self awareness to be like, Yo, are you in or are you out? Yeah. I, I do think there's levels to it, though. It's like yeah, you, yeah, you, you don't got to yeah, chain not, that doesn't do it. All right, it's not it's not that. like all or nothing, <laughs> but it is like this is if you want it, here's how to yeah. how to do it. And also, nothing wrong with saying no. Like I, if you don't want to put your whole life out there, constantly film and all that shit, sure, fine. But but it helps. But it but fucking it helps. helps. It'll when shoot you're you up, dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. shoot your ass or up. Fucking real. Uh, we were just talking about Olivia Wilde said. Um, uh, she commented on ASAP Rocky filming Rihanna at the Super Bowl, and she said something to the effect of like, "If you didn't already think ASAP Rocky was hot, like you definitely do now." Because he was like filming her and was like very proud, and it was like he was like just a regular fan, even though it's you know baby daddy. That was that's the story. That's what she did, and uh, women everywhere are like, "This is trash. This is toxic. Why are you trying to break them up? Why are you saying that? Where do you fall in this?" See, this is my first beef with you. Okay. This is my first beef with the men and man game. Mm -hmm. You didn't find what she did impressive. Where me, they put a pregnant bitch 500 no, feet no, 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 in no, the no. sky. <laughs> every if every Super Bowl don't got 50,000 pregnant bitches <laughs> hanging from the fucking ceiling. What are we doing? Bruno Mars? Was he pregnant? And from the fucking ceiling? What, Apple Depop and That's Fergie? Get I the said, fuck out of here. Bro, that shit slap, bro. If I knew going in, she was pregnant. Like, so here's what happened to me, actually, as I was watching it. I was kind of like, Rihanna's just kind of like bouncing yeah, around. Yeah, she didn't do much. Right. And then I kind of saw her belly, and the people I was watching with were like, she just gave birth like a month ago. That's what I thought, too. And, then, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. And then someone looked it up and said, no, she gave birth back in May. And then in my head, I was like, well, then something else is going on here. But we didn't have, like, nobody knew for sure. And so in my head, I was like... Maybe this is like she just gave birth, but like it's not that good. Then you find out she's pregnant, yeah. and it's like all like See, all bets are off. Now, now, that. now the I I changed my bar of of if if that was if she was not pregnant and she did that, I would say that was a lackluster performance of her. Yeah. I love the fucking yeah. hits, but she just walked around and had a lot of dancers <laughs> around her and sung. If you are several months pregnant to, 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 the, to <clears throat> the amount she was showing, she's probably going through the morning sickness and yeah. all that shit. Then it becomes very impressive. But only because of the circumstances, like yes. it, like the actual visual of what was going on was not. But anything a Super you Bowl. do, if people find you were pregnant doing it, bro, if you if you wake like up if you're like Arian Foster won the rushing title back in 2010 <laughs> while he was pregnant, that was crazy. <laughs> if you Dude, get I, out of bed, if you tie your shoes. Speaking you of, of, of the WNBA earlier, that is one of my favorite things in WNBA. When, they, when, when someone they, goes on the DL, like she's on the DL, pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> like, like six like, months like, her yeah, uh, yeah, uterus. Yeah, like, yeah. She'll, she's she's gonna miss. The 2022-2023 <laughs> season. <laughs> womb. Womb. Yeah, yeah. It's smaller and bigger. Like how, you gotta you gotta you gotta plan your plan your fucking 
pregnancies. No. But also, Daniel what's Oates, more yeah. paler than like, like doing that shit the out baby there? Baby during the fucking uh, during the year. It's like which do you yeah. want? You know, yeah. pretty much got to wipe out a year. Ha! <laughs> oh, sucks being a chick. <laughs> it's worst. rough too. And then you're like, I'm always like, you know, just stop bitching all the time. And then, <laughs> and then they're like, Germany lets you take off 47 years after you're pregnant. I'm like, yeah. all right, you might have a reason to be bitching because <laughs> you guys got fucked pretty hard. Dude, I, remember, I like, I've, I know people who are getting pregnant. Now and they're like, I actually have great. Healthcare, like we get two months off. And I was like, really? two, two months. months? months. Like, I'd still be waddling, dog. <laughs> yeah. If I took that kind of shit, I would. You wouldn't see me for a month. <laughs> hey, it, it is wild Four how much months. it's like. Slap you on the ass. Get out of here. Here's your baby. <laughs> it, it's, even if you get fucking a C-section, it's like all right. We we sliced your fucking body open, ripped a human out of it. That's a. You gotta go. What? What? <laughs> That That's the problem. I feel like both political parties can somehow come together and be like, we should help out. Like, who's against helping pregnant women out? <laughs> like, who's this person who's like, no, we might can work. It's like, let's give them a little while. I don't know. That's the weird shit where we are now in this country that <laughs> anything can be hilarious, man. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.